Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In one of my previous videos, I talked about pie chart and donor chart in Tableau. Pie chart and donor chart are useful to visualize the share or percentage of the total metrics overall, as well as by different segments. Today, I want to continue to talk about another important use case of the donor chart, which is you can use donor chart to track the metrics relative to your goal or target. So let's go ahead and get started. To start with, I want to show you my raw data set. This data set tracks the monthly acquisitions against the goal by acquisition channel in 2020. For illustration purposes, I only have two marketing channels here, including the email and paid social channels. The metrics are the acquisition goal or target, the actual acquisition count, and the percent acquisition goal, which is calculated using the acquisition count divided by the acquisition goal for each channel in a given month. In Tableau, as you can see, I have already imported this data set. In order to create a donor chart, I need to create two more calculated fields. First, I want to create a field called negative percent acquisition goal. This metric is calculated by simply doing one minus percent acquisition goal. Next, I create another calculated field called one. You can also use other field name of your choice here. Inside the calculation, I want to put the number one and make it a float number. Because I want to track the percent of actual acquisitions against the goal by each month and by channel, I need to drag these two fields to the column section. Then drop the newly created field called 1 to the row section twice. Change to make sure you use dimension rather than measure. Also change the second field to use the dual axis. Hide the axis title and tick marks as well. I want to filter this chart by channel and month, so I will need to drop the year, month, and channel fields to the filters card. Then drop the measure names field to the filters card. Click to edit the measure names field and make sure that you select only two measures, the percent acquisition goal and the negative percent acquisition goal, which is the field that I just created. Now go to the first marks card code 1. Under the chart type, click the drop down to select pie chart. Drag channel to the color mark. Also drop measure names to the color mark. Drop measure values to the size mark. For labels, I want to display month channel actual acquisition count and percent acquisition goal, so I will need to drop these fields to the label mark. Go to the next marks card, click to change the chart type, and use circle this time. Drop measure values to details card. Click color to make sure you use white. Now I want to apply a few more tricks to make the donut chart more visually appealing. First, I would like to adjust the size of the donuts for both the inner and outer circles. Next, I want to add borders to the donut chart. Last but not least, I will format the labels to make them inside the donuts rather than outside at the bottom of the donut charts. Using this donut chart, 
you can actually see how your actual acquisitions attract against the goals for different channels in a given period. For example, in the month of October, paid social channel did well by hitting 80% of the total acquisition goal. The email channel underperformed by only reaching less than 20% of the target. Okay, I hope you like this donut chart to show the performance indicators relative to the target or the range of values. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching.